What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So it's been a while since I've made one of these videos. So today I want to give my fellow global players a quick update on the upcoming banners that we can all expect to drop within the next couple of months. And the goal here really is to help you guys better allocate your dragon stone so that you can decide which banners you want to spend your stones on, which banners you want to completely skip, and so on and so forth. So hopefully this video will help at least a few of you watching here today and the focus today is definitely going to be on the Dokkan Fest banners as well as a few other banners that I feel like most people are going to be excited about and uh, there are going to be a few filler banners that came out on JP that I'm going to skip completely because I just don't really feel like they're worth talking about. <laughs> if you guys want a full breakdown of every single banner that will be dropping most likely between now and you know the next six months or so then make sure to check out DBZ Space, go to the JP side, and you can find everything there under the summons tab. But I'm gonna focus, like I said, on the Dokkan Fest banners, as well as the ones that I think people are gonna be hyped about. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, the next banner that we know is confirmed to be coming to Global is the Transforming STR Boo banner. And the thing with this banner is that <laughs> it's actually not a bad banner. Okay, so Transforming Boo as a unit, in my opinion, is actually a very cool unit. He's a solid unit as well. His category, the Enhanced Transformation category, is actually very, very cool, and I would love to run it. Um, but there's an issue with him. So <laughs> the issue with this Dokkan Fest, the issue with this unit, is that it's very poorly timed. Very, very poorly timed, because it's coming right before one of the most highly anticipated, one of the most hype, one of the biggest celebrations to ever come to Global, and of course I'm referring to the Broly movie celebration, the Gogeta Blue, and the transforming full power Broly. They're coming right after this, so I think a lot of people are probably going to completely skip this banner, and honestly I'm probably going to do the same, I would recommend that you guys do the same as well. Here's the banner itself, like I said, very solid banner, this new uh, West, I believe it's a West Kai, West Supreme Kai, I don't, I don't remember her exact name, my bad, but this Kai is actually a really, really good support unit. She's the best possible support unit you can have for Realm of Gods. And I would love to have her on my team. But like I said, I'm probably going to skip this banner, so I'm not going to get her anytime soon. <laughs> this new Hercule as well is actually a really good tank. Really clutch on Super Battle Road. Um, great dodge. Uh, great damage reduction. And uh, damage-wise, really bad. But that's not what we are using him for. And of course, we have the Transforming Boo. We'll break him down in a second. Uh, physical Super Vegito is still one of the best units in this game in my opinion. STR Janemba, not too exciting. If they actually put Int Janemba on this banner, I think more people would actually be more inclined to pull because Int Janemba is an absolute monster after his EZA. Int Kid Boo is decent. And then we have, I mean, this Boo, I believe, gets a token awakening when this banner drops. So he's going to be okay. But <laughs> I don't think a lot of people are going to be excited about that either. And this SR Boo. So overall, like I said, good banner, really solid unit, but... <sighs> I mean, the, the timing just doesn't work out, like, it just doesn't make sense for people to spend their, their hard-earned stones on this transforming Boo, uh, as opposed to the upcoming Broly and Gogeta, who are going to be a lot more broken, a lot more game-changing, a lot more just effective overall for more events and things like that, and just going to make a bigger difference on your account, on your teams. So yeah, I definitely recommend most people to skip this banner, even though I personally want the Boo, I personally want that Kai as well, but it is what it is. So I'm going to pop over real quick to the wiki, and I'll just give you guys a little breakdown of what this guy does. So he is the Enhanced Transformation Category Leader, key plus 3, HP Attack Defense plus 150%, and extreme type lead as well, extreme SDR type that is. Immense damage uh, to enemy, lowers attack and defense, so passive is attack and defense plus 80%, which is very mediocre, but he transforms when conditions are met, and there's various conditions for what he'll transform into. So links are right here if you guys are interested, categories as well. Uh, so he has three transformations, which is why, why I personally think he's a really cool unit. He transforms into Buicolo here if you are between, uh, what is it? If you are 49% HP or below, transforms to Buicolo, uh, attack and defense plus 100%, and recovers 15% HP at the third turn, all allies, key plus 3, defense plus 30%, awesome. You can also transform into Boo Tanks here. Boo Tanks is attack plus 120%, defense plus 100%, and recovers 8% H uh, HP at the start of turn, and additional 30% when the target enemy is in attack down status. And last but not least, we have Buhan. 
attack and defense plus 120% and recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn. So obviously he gets significantly stronger when the transformations happen and he's a unit that I would love to have but it's just not going to happen this time around with his own banner. He's probably come back eventually with uh, you know another another banner as like a secondary featured unit and that time maybe I'll get him, maybe you guys will get him as well but for the time being I'd say skip this banner, Saber Stones for Broly and Gogeta. But that's transforming Super Buu right there. Moving on, we have, let's just get into it, AGL transforming Gogeta. And uh, he's just an absolute beast. So here's his banner. Now, I've said this in the past, and personally, I feel like the banners could have been better. I feel like the Gogeta banner and the Broly banner could have both been more hype. They could have both been more exciting, but I guess Bandai decided that the new units themselves, right? The Gogeta itself and the Broly itself, were hype enough to get people to summon and they were right because Japan hit top grossing in like 12 hours or less when these banners dropped so obviously even though the banners aren't as good as they could be people are still going to summon and I know people on global are going to do it as well and I would recommend you guys to do it too because they're just such good units like the new Broly, new Gogeta just they're so good it's kind of impossible to skip and it's going to be 3 plus 1 as well and you know with the way that global celebrations go we might actually get tickets for this banner as well so we'll do a multi get a number of tickets to use on a separate ticket banner that would be lit we'll have we'll have to see we'll have to see um so anyways we got the new gogeta and we have super saiyan 4 gogeta as well uh, yo i just completely skipped this guy disrespect okay so this is the new gogeta that's his awakened form we'll talk about it in just a second um we have the super saiyan 4 gogeta who's still solid but kind of old this guy's kind of old as well although I don't believe he's returned to global in like a year at this point. At least he came back recently. I don't know, my memory is really bad. Like, my memory is really bad, but I'm pretty sure it's been a while since he's come back to global. So, a lot of people are probably still hunting for him. Uh, in Gogeta, I mean, <laughs> at this point, people are pretty low on him. He is, I mean, after the STR Gogeta, Dokkan Awake, or Extreme Z Awakening, he is now the worst Super Gogeta in the game, which. I mean, it's true, but he's still a monster. He's still a very, very strong unit. I mean, I can't discount that. He's great after Extreme Z Awakening as well. But uh, these two guys, actually, the one, the Vegeta that, tr that awakens into Super Saiyan God Vegeta, and the Goku that awakens into Super Saiyan God Goku, both awesome, awesome fillers. But that's a Gogeta banner for you. Uh, Gogeta himself is a beast. Movie heroes and fusions lead 170% to both for attack and 150% uh, to HP and defense for movie heroes and 130% to HP and defense for fusion. So exact same leader skill actually as LR Gogeta by the way. Uh, greatly raises attack, causes immense damage to the enemy, attack defense by 100%, attacks effective against all types, medium chance to evade enemy's attack, and transform when conditions are met. So here's his transformation, this is really the form that most of us care about the most. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, or Gogeta Blue. So. He now does attack, uh, gets attack and defense plus 130%, critical with every attack, every single attack, every super, every normal attack is a guaranteed critical, absolutely broken, and a high chance to evade enemies attack, including super attack, high chance to evade. So I believe that's actually the same, is it the same as uh, UI Goku, or UI Goku might be even higher, I don't know, no, no. UI Goku I know evades a lot of attack, so I don't know if UI Goku has like an extra high chance or something, but High chance is really good still, so that's Gogeta Blue. Monster! Moving on to the Broly though, because we are short on time, there's a lot of banners to go through. This is the Broly banner, I love the Broly too, I think he's an absolute beast. And if I pull him, I might actually, well I'll probably run him side by side with LR Broly, but I feel like he actually might be better than LR Broly for World Tournament, because he is guaranteed pretty much to get his super off almost every turn. He gives himself, he gives himself like a lot of key, I, I just know that, he gives himself a lot, a lot of key. So uh, the key issues that you have with LR Broly in World Tournament don't really, you know, aren't really an issue for him. And he just does a lot of damage. He's he's awesome. I just, I love this Broly unit as well. This Wrathful Broly is actually insanely, insanely strong too. Like uh, on JP, I was running him for the Gogeta event, right? And this guy does over 2 million damage with no dupes after taking a few attacks. So he gets stronger and stronger with every attack. With no dupes, this guy is hitting over 2 million after receiving 4 attacks, which is ridiculous, right? That's after his Extreme Z Awakening, of course. He does get an EZA pretty much like a week or less after the banner comes out. The Paragus awakens into Paragus and Broly. 
great support unit and also hits very hard when facing against pure Saiyans. Um, you know, we have this STR Broly, if you guys need dupes of him. Omega Shenron's still great, it's just he's come back so many freaking times. I'm sure a lot of people already have him rainbowed. SSJ3 Broly, probably one of the worst 120 leads, but still not a terrible unit. I, I think he's underrated in a lot of ways, but he's there. STR Janemba again, and uh, that's the banner. So, like I said, could have been better, but there are some really, really hype units on both banners that I think a lot of people could benefit from using, benefit from pulling. So, still worthy of summoning, if you're, if, if you're asking me. Um, one thing I did want to mention is that there could be a few changes that occur between the JP banners and the global banners. This actually applies to every single banner that I talk about in this video, but I just wanted to make an extra emphasis, I guess, on this dual Dokkan Fest because this is the one that a lot of people are anticipating, right? A lot of people are really, really excited for this one. So that's the dual Dokkan Fest, that's the Broly and Gogeta. And as far as people who are wondering when we can expect that, that is going to be the uh, middle of February, most likely. That was the last leak we got from Team Dokkaner on Twitter. And I feel like that's fairly accurate. So middle of February, uh, probably around the 15th, somewhere between the 15th, probably to like the 20th, something like that. Uh, is when we can expect these banners to drop, so get your stones ready, guys. Moving on. So, oh, actually, let's talk about the Broly <laughs> real quick. Move the bosses, full power, 170%, 150%, 130%. Um, key plus 6, attack plus 130%, defense plus 100%. So a Broly that, that can actually tank and transform when conditions are met. And his transformation is key plus 8, attack plus 188%. And 120% defense, and launches an additional attack, which has a high chance to become a super attack. Absolutely monstrous. His attack is so freaking high once he transforms. I love this unit. Like I said, amazing, amazing unit. I'm gonna move on though, because you know there's a lot of stuff to get through. Meta Cooler, AGL Meta Cooler should most likely come after the Dual Dokkan Fest. Uh, great banner, really great banner if you look at it. So AGL Meta Cooler himself is fantastic. And if you've never seen his super attack, I think that super attack alone is enough to get a lot of people to want to summon for him. I used to work for me. When I saw that super attack, I was like, yo, I want this unit. And if you guys haven't seen the super attack yet, go check it out. It's going to make you want to summon for this dude. Aside from that, though, we have this future Gohan, who is still a good unit in my opinion. I mean, he does get replaced fairly shortly after by another unit, which I'll talk about soon. Um, but at least on a hybrid Saiyans team, or on a physical team or anything like that. He's still a really, really good unit. We have Jiren, of course, who's still fantastic. I still don't have him. Uh, this, this Vegeta actually is really solid too. Um, this Piccolo 2 is decent. And uh, aside from that, I mean, we've got Cooler, who's always good. I need one more dupe to Rainbow. And this guy's always good as well. So, I mean, my issue with this banner, honestly, is that there are so many featured SRs. Like, I don't like that. I know the SRs are there to help you boost the super attacks of, like, any of the featured SSRs that you pull. But, I mean, it's, uh, I don't think it's necessary. Overall, <laughs> very, very good banner. And the uh, meta cooler right here is the most malevolent clan leader. Category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%. Just... All across the board, 170%, no 130, no 150. Also extreme AGL leader, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Attack and defense plus 80% on the start of turn, plus an additional attack plus 10% with each attack received up to 70%. So a maximum of 150%, actually it probably goes higher because you actually get 18% since they're calculated separately. So a total of 206% boost after 7 attacks, which is very, very good. And recovers 7% HP at the end of the turn after receiving an attack. And core appears when HP is 50% or below only one. So similar to the AGL Tapion transformation, he's going to transform into this uh, Fuse with Big Getty Star form. And uh, he's going to be invulnerable. He's going to do quite a bit of damage. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So that is AGL Meta Cooler. I'm going to summon for sure. But, you know, maybe if you want to save your stones for something bigger or something you're more excited about in the future, nobody can blame you for that either. It's just... I, I want this unit really, really bad. <laughs> That's a personal opinion though. Okay, moving on, we have this big question mark of a banner. And uh, I say question mark because we really don't know if this is ever going to come to global. But 
We also don't know if it's not going to because recently we did get some pretty exciting news about the fact that um, Heroes, like the franchise, the game, might be coming to what well, might be released internationally, right? So if that happens, then it would make no sense for me, to me, that Bandai wouldn't release this banner as well, use those properties to make some extra money on Global 2, which means that we could potentially get this Heroes banner on Global at some point, but it's a big question mark. We really don't know if it's going to happen or not, but let's say it does. Let's say it does, then these are the units you expect to receive. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on each and every single one of them because there's too many, but they look really freaking cool, man. Like, I, I really, really want these units. I know none of them are like super, super top tier. You know, they're not like game breaking by any means, but they're just really cool to have as part of your collection, especially one particular one, one specific one that I think a lot of people really want, and I don't really know what the reason for it is, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's gonna leave it at that. <laughs> and aside from that, yo, I mean, this Vegeta is awesome. Like, this Goku looks freaking dope as well. Like, these, these units just look really, really sick. And uh, I mean, in my opinion, Dokkan is primarily a collection game. It's a collector's game. You wanna collect as many of these units, these characters as possible. And for that reason, I really want these guys in my box. And I also really want that uh, Tower of Darkness Toa, that uh, AGL Toa, and uh, there's probably a few other ones I'm missing, but yeah, really, really hope that this banner drops on Global because it'll be just sick to have these guys. Moving on, we have the Int Goku Black banner, and this guy is the unit that does essentially replace physical feature Gohan as a leader. Uh, he does lead a different category, but it's essentially the same category, just better. So he leads the Time Travelers category, which is the same category basically as the Future Saga, except with more LRs in it, more strong, like more units overall and just stronger units overall. So that's why I think a lot of people skipped Physical Future Gohan because it's like, what's the point, right? His banner is also freaking overpowered. Like he has one of the best Dokkan Fest banners we've ever seen in this game. I mean, Goku Black himself, of course, and he of course transformed into Rose, absolute beauty. Um, we also have Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. Really, really strong unit. Really, really strong unit. Um, Rose, right? STR Rose. I know some people are still missing him. Actually, a lot of people are probably still missing him. He's great. He's such a, such a good TUR. One of the top five or ten TURs, in my opinion. I don't really know where he ranks on that list. I haven't really thought too, too, too hard about it, too deep into it. But he's just really, really good. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock leads one of the best... Uh, category teams in the game in Super Saiyan 3. They don't have him either, so I really probably will go all out on this banner because it's just it's just too good. It's just too good. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is here. Um, I mean, this Vegeta is good too. It's good too. I, mean, I don't think a lot of people are gonna be super hyped about him, but he's actually a really good unit. Trunks is definitely the uh, the shaft of the banner. If you happen to get like a Vegito transformation, you happen to get some kind of combination or some kind of good animation, like Hercule on Boo, and you pull this guy, they're gonna be a little bit upset. He's like the SSBKK of the hit banner, essentially. <laughs> and uh, we also have this Tech Cell, who is absolutely amazing after EZA, so I'm happy he's there too. And overall, man, this banner is just awesome. It's an awesome, awesome banner. Um, like I said, one of the best Dokkan Fest banners we've ever seen. Let's move on to the Goku Black now. Time Travelers category, key plus 3, HP attack defense plus 150%, or Extreme Int, key plus 3, HP attack defense plus 90%. Greatly raises defense, immense damage, 40% at the start of each turn, up to 120%, so after 3 turns, it's going to be at 120%. Chance to perform a critical plus 5% with each attack received, up to 40%, so he would have to take a maximum of 8 attacks to reach the 40%, and transforms when conditions are met. And here is his transformation into Rose, 150% attack and high chance to perform a critical and extreme class allies, key plus three. So overall, very, very strong unit. It's gonna do a lot of damage, very hyped. Um, and he's just, he's just dope, man. Who doesn't want Goku Black and Rose? Like, it's just such a great character from the show, from the series. Uh, want this guy, real bad. Okay, moving on. We also will see the return of the Dragon Ball Fusions banner at some point, somewhere. I don't really know if it's going to be after the Rose banner or not. It could be before, it could be way after, but sometime around, you know, the release of these banners, we should see the Fusions banner return. 
and this is the pool for the Fusion's Banner. So, I mean, a lot of these units honestly aren't that good. Uh, the, the, I mean, okay, most most of them are like okay. They're like decent. They're solid overall. Cool banner, cool units, but none of them are must-haves. The ones I would definitely keep an eye out for are Weirus and Pandel, and actually no, uh, Barlot too. Barlot is actually decent as a nuker as well, but the other ones are like just just okay. Okay, moving on. Last but not least, we have this LR Trunks and My uh, Double Rates banner. So it's actually a that this banner is unique in the sense that it's actually a like featured LR banner where these guys are actually featured the trunks and the Mai but it's also a double rates banner with every other LR in the game on it so when this banner came out man people were pulling so many freaking LRs on it <laughs> it, it was crazy because someone did the calculations and apparently your chances of pulling any LR like not a specific one but any LR from the pool was 20% in a multi every multi you did you had a 20% chance to pull an LR and I don't know how accurate that is, but that's what a lot of people are telling me. So I'm like, that's madness, man. That That is wild. So like, how many people from this banner pulled like double or triple LRs in a multi just because of how insane the rates were, just because how big the LR pool had gone to this point. Um, so when it comes to LR hunting, this is definitely the best banner possible to hunt LRs on. And I don't know if... The banner will come exactly as it is right now to global, but um, I believe the Christmas banner for JP the year before was the Tapion and Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner, and global eventually did get that banner pretty much exactly as it was on JP, so I expect to get pretty much this exact banner as well. That pretty much does it for all the banners that we know about from the JP side, but two I did want to talk about definitely are the four year anniversary that JP is getting soon. And we don't know what that's gonna look like, but if I were to predict, I would say that it's either gonna be a dual Dokkan Fest of like a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, or it could also maybe be just one one unit, like one new unit Dokkan Fest of a LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that starts out as Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta and then eventually fuses. There's not much more details I can give you guys aside from that, I mean, aside from speculation because nothing specific has come out. Nobody really knows what Bandai has planned for us except for, I guess, the leakers and they're withholding that information for the, for the time being, so can't speak too much on that. Um, but the second thing is also the 300 million download celebration. Oh, by the way, by the way, the uh, four year anniversary is happening in like, two or three weeks on JP, but as far as global goes, it's probably gonna start around the, the beginning of July or something like that. So that's when us global players can expect to get that stuff uh, going. But the next thing is 300 million download celebration. Now, I'm not sure when exactly they're gonna start that or place that, but that's kind of the celebration. Uh, well, these download celebrations are all the celebrations where you get like one ticket for every 50 stones you spent between the last download celebration and the new one, and uh, the tickets can be used on a banner that has pretty pretty much like all the Dokkan Fest exclusives featured. Probably no LRs, but just all the feat all the like Dokkan Fest exclusives will be on this banner, and uh, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good for most people. So you can expect that around maybe after the four year celebration, or maybe slightly before. I don't really know. Here's the thing, in my opinion, and this could just be. I don't know, a conspiracy theory or whatever you want to call it, but I think that Bandai doesn't really care when the 300 million or whatever milestone they're trying to reach is is, is actually met. All they care about is when can we place these uh, hype celebrations to make the most money. So let's say like we already hit the 300 million download, um, download mark for the app, right? Let's, let's say hypothetically we already hit 300 million, Bandai is not going to release it right now because um, the four year anniversary is coming on JP, right? So they're gonna, they're gonna wait for the optimal time, the optimal moment where they feel like maybe the game's a little bit dead or uh, they feel like it's just time for a big celebration. That's when they'll, they'll drop the 300 million download celebration and uh, get people all hyped up again. So again with that, I don't really know what else is gonna happen aside from the fact that we probably will get tickets for X number of stones spent and be able to spend on that, spend the tickets on a, like a Dokkan Fest banner with all Dokkan Do Fest exclusives. But um, I just wanted to mention that so you guys kind of have that at the back of your head, the back of your brain, 
and uh, I prepare for that if you know it happens within the next six months or so. But that's pretty much gonna do it for the video, guys. I, I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being. Uh, I know I talked a whole lot, but there's a lot on my mind, a lot on my chest that I have to get off. And uh, I just kind of want to help you guys, you know, like give you guys as much information as possible without going into too much, too much detail so that you guys can make the decision for yourself which banners you want to spend your stones on, which units you want to spend your stones on, and which banners you want to kind of skip and just withhold your stones and kind of save up for more hype things for you personally. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, all the information I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below. Which banner or which unit you're the most hyped for, which one that you're, you're hoarding all your stones for. I think most people are going to say Broly and Gogeta, but maybe we have a few other people out there who are really excited, like me, for the AGL Meta Cooler, or some people that are really excited to hunt some for hunt for some LRs on this banner, or some people who are waiting for, I don't know, like the four year or five year or six year anniversary. They're like, every single banner is a trap. I'm going to keep saving my stones until uh, they release Zeno or whatever. <laughs> so anyways, that's all I gotta say. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, if you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>